to a working system that's beneficial to most people. Now, you can be so aberrated that you can't see the benefits of a system. Can you understand that? You can be, it's like the Jews going to the Nazis for free money to expand Jewish knowledge. Now, uh, you know what a, a real, in the old days, liberal, a liberal can't go to a Klan meeting and say, you guys are ridiculous. He, he can talk to them, but he can't talk to them. He'll talk at them. They won't hear a word he says. Because they listen as a Klansman with those tools. Is man a reasoning animal? He can't be, because he couldn't change then. If he's subject to change, then he can't have a fixed set of values. You know what that means? These are very tough things. You have to think about them a lot, toss them around. Meaning, listen to normal people, see if there's any signal in what they say. Except, I like being with you. That means they're not dissatisfied. But you must provide tools. And uh, to tell people that they need tools, is uh, they take as an insult. Who the hell are you to tell me what I need? You understand? The ego becomes involved because they think you're downing them. You know what that means? You're not downing them, you're trying to equip them with better tools. And there's a a glass cleaner that's available called transparent glass. Are you familiar with it? You rub it on your windshield and you can't see the glass. It deflects light in such a way that the glass looks like there's no glass there. It's called transparent fluid, which they use on optics now, on cameras. But it's temporary. It then fogs up a little. But anyway, with the advent of science and technology, say, uh, assuming we don't kill each other, we live another thousand years. The average person, uh, it's not just a laptop, but it's what it does. It's, you can turn pages of a book, you can move it with your fingers. It's doing so many new things which invite thousands of other new things, especially if people are in the business of making new things. So the exponential curve will go very sharp, leaving people behind continuously. That's why an IQ test has nothing to do with anything except your responses in relation to a fixed set of conditions. IQ does not measure intelligence. You may have uh, neurons uh, uh, neurotransmitters more than the other person has, and you might remember more, but that doesn't make you better. If you're a specialist, say a psychologist, and you're studying human behavior, how can you study human behavior without studying the monetary system? You know what I mean? The guy argues with his wife, so <coughs> you tell him to give a little, she'll give a little. Shit, I like that. Gotta get a drink. <coughs> He's on it. <laughs> if you know a psychologist or a neurologist, you ask him. What does their profession do? Well, it tries to adjust people so they can respond to the culture. That would be insane. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm talking about? A psychologist would have to ask other questions. What is it that I want? What is it that I want? I want a flexibility in human behavior. Uh, but a flexibility that doesn't bring any money in might make the person a hobo. You know what I mean? Normal people have ideas of well-adjusted person. 
A well-adjusted Indian is a well-adjusted Indian. A well-adjusted Mexican is a well-adjusted Mexican. But there's no such thing as well-adjusted people. Do you know what that means? So trying to become well-adjusted is updating your tools. Well-adjusted to change. Yeah, if you know what that means. So the problems become more difficult if you think you can, with this system, change people. They don't even know they need change. I think when the laptop came out, you had to show people what it does. And they didn't just sit there and do, do it. And when something new comes out, they show you what it does. And they say, oh, these are new tools. So, uh, now if a guy lives in the South Seas learning uh, celestial mechanics or high-level mathematics, there's no use for it out there if he's a native. That's information superfluous to his needs. You know what that means? If you te teach a native uh, primitive person biological systems, it might be superfluous to his lifestyle there. You know what that means? Okay. I would imagine that if there is such a thing as uh, advanced people out in the universe, I don't believe they would communicate with us. I don't believe they would even try. I don't believe they'd have, well, let's give them a hand. I don't think they think that way. It's like you and ants, you know what I mean? The humans think that, uh, that they would welcome a new civilization. So you don't think we'd be of interest? I don't in think. Terms of How can some... we be of interest? No, we can't say anything new. Especially if they land in the South Pacific and they meet the natives. And the natives says the volcano is angry. What can they do with that? They can leave the area. Or I don't even think they know. They know the guy has primitive associations. And they wouldn't have to ask him anything. All they do is watch our TV shows, which they watch for two seconds. They want a bunch of shit. I don't think they'd say that. But it's very hard to see. What, you know, people say to me, Will people be happier in the future? They're using today's standards for the future. It isn't happiness that people need. It's security and evaluation of the real world. That brings equilibrium. And to the extent that your notions about the world are unreal, you will suffer. I would say, I think you told me that your father used to beat your mother. That was the best tools he had. Getting mad at him does not give him new tools. And when he doesn't say, what do you think I ought to do? That would be rare. I don't think he'd ever say that to you. Would he? What do you think I ought to do? He doesn't even have that in his head. I gave him that opportunity one time and he rejected. Yeah. I didn't speak to him would. for two years. Yeah, but well, that's because you believe that people can think and reason. Only if you give them the tools, that takes time for the tools to gel, too. You just can't hand people tools. They won't even know what it is. You know what a stage is on a microscope? You can move the film, minute quantities of distance that you're looking at the specimen can be turned to the right. We have turned it 50 times to move it one thousandth of an inch. So if you're looking at bacteria, that's extensional. So, uh, again, all extensional devices change. That's why you can never become sane. You can never become well-adjusted. You know what I mean? If all things keep changing, how can you become sane? And sane means you're sane. That can't be because there's so much we don't know. 
we can become saner, but never sane. Do you know what that means? You need to define sane. What's that? Can you define sane? Can't hear you. Define sane. Sane meaning the most operant behavior to fit a given set of circumstances. Now that's all that it means. Now, if a person comes over and says, I broke a leg, say, call 911 and go to the nearest hospital, I can't deal with that. That would be saner than saying, oh my God, how did that happen? I fell off a 20-foot ladder. You still have to call 911 because you can't deal with it. Well, the person says, don't you have any sympathy? What do you mean call 911? He says, yeah, I'm sorry you broke your leg. Then feel better with that. But sane means to do what you can to help them out of that situation. Saner, never sane. Wiser, never wise. Smarter, never smart. You know what that means? So, when a person says, well, what's the answer to all these problems? That's a stupid question. There are no answer. There are answers as you go along. I went to a fresco mint by a sane society. Well, nobody ever asked me. But that would be a lecture in itself. What's a sane society? That society is saner. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, those are the tools I wanted you to know about, to make sure. So when you look at a neurologist, he's just measuring the reaction the brain has when you stick a needle here, there, he knows what zone of the brain. He can draw a map of feelings, uh, depression, he can map out the brain. Then he can look for toxins in the brain. But he can't understand the mind, can't understand that it's a responding organism. When you use mind, you think like the associative system. Yes. Yeah. That's all you have is the associative system. Yeah. You, you never become sane. Can you understand that? If there's a society out there that says, boy, they've attained the ultimate, there could be no such thing. Ultimate means they're all dead. When but, you die, it's ultimate. But we all adjust constantly. Right? We don't adjust. We are made that way by circumstances. We either do or we blow our top. There are people that insist that the world they have in their head is a real world. They wind up in institutions. But what they have in their head is only their little unique differences. So, if you ask a person, they say, I, I'm not well mentally. Say, what is it that you want? Well, I want a fair relationship with people. Well, if you went to live in a Seminole Indian village. If you don't talk their language, you'll never get along with them. So do you want to become a Seminole Indian, or do you want to be you in a Seminole village? You can't be you in a Seminole village. You have to change the village. You have to go into the village and say, everything you guys do is wrong, and show them the way. That's almost impossible. So it's easier to kill you. That's what the Arab-Israeli thing is. can go nowhere. It'll never work out because they don't even know what the problem is. The problem is everybody wants a piece of the pie. Now what does that mean? They want the same opportunities that other people have without discrimination. Can't have that. Because there are people already in power only if they lose that power. As I understand it, things were so bad in Russia that the people revolted. And they shot the royal family, the kids and all, because they didn't want any carryovers. So, when Joe Stalin sent people to Siberia to work, they were disruptive to his culture, or his concept of culture. Now, Joe Stalin never said, what kind of concepts should I have had? He would never talk that way. He wouldn't be Joe Stalin if he did. 
if you walked over to Hitler and said, suppose he killed all the Jews, then what? He doesn't think about those things. You know what I mean? It isn't the Jews, it's the business world that he doesn't like. I don't like Jewish conditioning, but I don't like Catholic conditioning. I don't like Presbyterian conditioning. I don't like American conditioning. So it's the conditioning that's the problem. But uh, you only do what you can do.